Oh my God, Glee! Look at us both wearing our pink tops right now because we got the one. Sweat in the house. Hi, big sweat. What's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Pink Sweats! It's so nice to see you. It's so nice to talk to you. Uh, we want to ask you about obviously your album Pink Moon. You know, at this point, it really feels like Pink Sweats have sort of evolved into a spiritual self with this album. Can you tell us when did you write this and you know the way you did it? Uh, when I write, I wrote this like a couple months ago, and I I just kind of took me and my friends. And we were just, I was in a unique space in my life. It was like pandemic was kind of like loosening up a little bit, but it's also like I'm in a relationship. A lot of my friends are in relationships. So you find yourself talking about relationships a lot. And the internet is full of like relationships. It's like people that's breaking up, getting together. It's I'm like, yo, it's relationships everywhere. So I kind of wanted to like attack that topic of relationships from like a semi-spiritual aspect, you know what I'm saying? Where it's like connection between another, you and another person is like deeper than just like a physical connection. Yeah, and I think you could really tell that through this EP because Pink Planet, I would say it had more upbeat songs, you know, especially like at so my workers, you know, it was like, yeah, it's soothing, but at the same time, you still want to dance. But when it comes to Pink Moon, it feels like <laughs> I just want to meditate with your music, you know. So <laughs> true. <laughs> like that. So true. And from this EP, Real Thing and Midnight River are two of the highest stream songs so far, right, from this EP. Are there any other songs from this Pink Moon um, EP that you thought would blow up just as much, but it didn't beat these two songs. Honestly, those was my two favorites from the beginning. I do like my song Real Thing. I mean, not Real Thing. Uh, it's called Nothing Feels Better. I love that one. Uh, I love yeah, that one. I love that song too. That's a good one. But yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm pretty spot on with picking songs usually, especially if it's something that I just genuinely believe in. Like, it's hard for me if I'm like, if I make a song and I just like it, it's like, okay, this might not do well. But like when I really, really love a song, I'm like obsessed with it. Usually it's like something that like people like too. So true. I mean, we're obsessed with all your songs. <laughs> so true. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. So Eli and I, we were just going through, you know, everything that you said about this EP and we loved how you were saying, you know, you wanted to experiment love through this uh, through this EP, right? You, there was a, a specific line you said. You said you wanted to stretch your definition of love as far as you could. So at this stage of Pink Sweat's life, what is your definition of love? <laughs> Love is like control chaos, I guess. Some people look at chaos as like horrible things, but without chaos, life is kind of boring. You know what I'm saying? Like like if, if if you wake up with somebody, they do everything you want them to do. You do everything they want you to do. It sounds good in theory, you know, an idea, but then there's no excitement ever. Like if nobody ever challenges your ideas, they never correct you, you never correct them. You kind of put you in a state of like just complete boredom where you just like, you know, if you ever seen people in relationships, they're like, everything's perfect. I don't know what's wrong. It's like, it's because it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's too much perfection to where the point you need. Humans, we love connection and it's we feel like we're not connected to someone when everything's always perfect. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That is amazing. Oh my God, I feel so single listening to that. <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel so single. Pink Stress, we wanted to ask you about your song Pink Moon from the EP, right? You edit some parts in that song that sort of sounds like dialogue two sentences ready to be no father but i will be and quit playing with me girl you put that in those in in the song so is is that from somewhere and why did you add it in i added it in there because i thought it was funny i think like sometimes <laughs> like when you're like in a relationship and you guys are being intimate you don't really want to have a baby especially when you're young you're like no 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 but like if you're having such a good time you're like all right i'm not ready to be no father it's kind of like a joke like it's like i'm not ready to be a father but i will be because you're so awesome oh Oh, that is so cute. So you've got a few collabs on this album, right? Uh, Tori Kelly, Black, even Sabrina, Claudia. When you wrote the songs, did you already decide, okay, I'm gonna write the song and then I'm gonna bring them in, or did you did you write it with them in the process? Wow, that's a great question. So funny enough, all of these songs just happen with the artists in the room. So with uh, Midnight River, me and Black were just working. 
and we made a bunch of songs and that was one of the songs that i love but he was there in the studio like he he i saw him write his verse and all of that and same thing with like tori kelly like we worked a bunch of times before just like you know kicking and hanging working and stuff but this time when we linked up i was like yo we finna make a, a timeless song i'm like yo i was all hyped and I was, and she's like okay like yeah so yeah she she was in the studio also with uh sabrina yeah. speaking of collaborations right we know something we know a secret of things sweats that he revealed about a month ago it's now mm. in fact on 24th jan he tweeted this ladies and gentlemen he said yep. he wants a collaboration with bts okay he yes wants that's too far. so we want to provide this platform for you right now okay imagine bts watching this video now we're giving you about 30 seconds to sell your music to bts okay pitch a collaboration with them pink sweats are you ready for that oh BTS, hit my phone. I make hits, baby. Look, watch this. Pink sweats, BTS. It's going up. We're going to be the best. Let's go. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I think, you know what? They're completely sold on this. They're going to give you a call in exactly a minute. Army's going to make it go viral. They're going to see it. <laughs> so yeah, don't worry about it. So uh, Pink Sweat, before we let you go, what else is coming from you this year? This year, I'm actually going to potentially go in on my next al my, my album album. I'm kind of, I think I'm going to start stripping things back down to like how I used to do it in the beginning and give people like a really soulful broken down like album where they could just really vibe I, I miss doing music like that I think sometimes I'm just like such a creative where I always want to just try everything I just want to keep putting my hands in every style so but but I also want the fans to you know get the thing that they love for me you know where it's like yeah. those broken down acoustic vibes it's been so nice talking to you we'll see you when you drop your next album okay this year yes definitely we'll see you again <laughs> wait what, what country are you guys in again we're in Malaysia, Malaysia. Yeah. I think I might be pulling up. No! Oh my God, what? <laughs> it's very possible. <laughs>